Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning MySQL store process tutorial for beginners. This is our part number 15. Inside this video session guys, we are going to see another example of using cursor in MySQL store processor. So inside our previous video, we had seen about the basic concept of using cursor in MySQL store processor. So what basically cursor is? Cursor is a pointer which basically used to iterate over the data set actually we get from our database. Now inside this video, if I back to PHMI admin, now this is tbr underscore users table. Now inside this table, we have multiple number of records. Now we are going to fetch first five records from this table and we are going to convert the email address into uppercase. As we can see that here all the emails are in the lowercase but after getting the select statement means after getting the first five records we are going to iterate over each emails and convert each email into uppercase. And the whole we are going to do using cursor. Now if I open into a duplicate tab, select so duplicate, back here click on the database and go inside routine section and I'm going to hit called add routine and firstly let's say get upper email. This is our routine name. Inside this processor we don't want any parameters so I am to drop that. Now inside this area we are going to provide our logic. So if I make some zoom, now let's say that begin, let's end and inside this I am to declare some variables. Those variables we are going to use inside our stored processor. So let's say declare and let's say finished. Basically this is about our terminating condition. This is only used for the status. So finish, let's say int and the default value let's say zero. Now I am to declare another variable, so let's say declare and something let's say email. So u underscore email, this is user email and it should be varchar. So let's say varchar and maximum and something here. It should be let's say 15 length and default value, let's say empty value. Now again, I am to declare one more variables which basically store all the emails we will get from our result data. So let's say emails underscore list and it should be where care and let's say 200 in length and default value is something empty value. Now next we have successfully declared or initialized our local variables. Now we are going to make use of our cursor. So first of all we have to declare our cursor. So let's say declare and here we have to provide our cursor name. So let's say email underscore let's say cursor. Now after that we are going to provide let's say cursor as a keyword and for this is also a keyword and in the next we have to provide our SQL statement. So let's say that select let's say email from let's say users table and the table name we have something called if we go at the top we have called tbl underscore users. So if I copy the table name and pasting it here. So now by the help of this query and also we have to select only the first five records. So let's say limit equal to five. Now we are going to select all the data inside only email address we have retrieved and we have stored all the data inside this email cursor. Now after declaring our email cursor next I am going to define our error handler. So let's say declare, let's say declare and here let's say continue so it should be continue let's say handler for let's say not found let's say not found and I'm to set something called finished let's say finished equal to 1 what basically this line means it means that if suppose we have five records in our bucket and we want to iterate or loop over from the first record to our fifth number record. Now while getting six, as we know that six does not exist in our bucket. So inside that condition, this error handler automatically set this finished value equal to one. 
Now after declare all these things, all these stuff, now we are ready to open our cursor. So let's say open and the cursor that we have provided called email cursor. Now I am going to open that. Now next we have to close it also. So let's say close and email cursor so control V to paste and also we have to provide semicolon here now successfully inside this cursor tag means inside this block we have to read all the data what we have selected right here inside this statement so now I am to use call the loop so let's say get underscore let's say email cursor or let's say get email point this is only our loop label name and here I am to specify call loop and finally we have to close this loop as well so end let's say get email point and semicolon and also if I copy that so let's end loop and the loop label name so successfully now we have defined our loop now inside this loop I am going to iterate over each record from email cursor now inside this block firstly let's define our terminating condition so let's say if let's say finished if I copy this variable name let's say if finished equal to 1 it means that then inside this end if block if I go inside end if block let's say that we are going to leave from this loop so leave and this is our loop label name so while getting finished equal to 1 we are just terminating or we are just go outside of this loop and also we have to put semicolon here now successfully we have defined our terminating condition now we are ready to fetch our data so let's say fetch and from this email cursor which basically contains all the data means all the emails so fetch email Alice into so row by row we are going to read our email address and we are going to store inside this u underscore email so let's say that into U email. Now after getting the email address inside this U email, now we are going to convert this email address into uppercase. So I am going to inside this if and let's say set and if we go at the top, this is the variable that we have declared to contains all the emails. So let's say set emails list and I am going to use called the concat method. So let's say concat inside this I am going to pass our values to make concatenation so it's emails list and here I am going to provide that comma here comma here and I am going to make use of upper this is also a MySQL function which basically converts the email address or the value we will pass inside this function it automatically converts into uppercase and finally we have make all these value concatenate inside this emails list so successfully if I copy that go here and let's say select and here is the emails list now as I think that all we have done now now if I write here something called cell root as a rate localhost and here we have to write contain SQL now if I copy all the code back to a slides open a new tab and pasting it here now if I press go button so we have some error inside this code so this error indicates that actually somewhere we forgot to add our semicolon and as I think that right here so putting here press go button now as I go at the top successfully we have converted all the data or we have successfully created our get upper email stored processor now if I go at the list and search for that this is now if I click on execute button go at the top now as we can see that all the emails like here is the email address here is the email address here is the email address all the email address is now converted into uppercase so successfully guys as we can see about the understanding of cursor it means that after getting all the data from our table also if you want to actually manipulate or do some calculation with our data set we also can do that if I back to slide now here is the code actually what we have written for our stored processor and here we have to add a semicolon now inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day